yeah, I'm very devoted to my church and it's not until very recently. Actually, the Reiki, I think, really led me closer to God. It helped me understand the higher power in the Holy Spirit. So that was my, my next question is, you, you don't normally, and I'm all about just sort of dissolving the boundaries that exist between one spiritual denomination and another. But when somebody thinks of Reiki, uh, largely metaphysical sort of new age practice, kind of uh, paired with Christianity, those two things don't tend to go together, right? So considering like your role in the church and being really involved, do you ever have to have that conversation or do you feel there's some resistance that people um, kind of come to you with knowing that you practice Reiki? That is such a good question. And I just discovered that recently. So when I was a Reiki, when I was igniting a Reiki practitioner, she came to me with this and she was healing through her own religious trauma and it was deep rooted religious trauma. And she came to me after the Reiki one and two, and she realized the power of the Reiki. She realized the power within herself and she's, very gifted, very gifted woman. Mm -hmm. And, um, she came to me scared. She said, I need to turn this off because I think it's affecting my religion and I think it's affecting Christianity. So I actually started going into that direction as well with her. And she sent me a lot of books about Christianity and Reiki. So we actually opened up this whole new portal of, there are a lot of Christians who are devoted to the sacred text devoted to their Christianity, devoted to Jesus, but they actually do the Reiki. So when I was going into my journey through my church, I was nervous. I didn't talk to them about Reiki, but just past this past two weekends ago, I was baptized. I was so excited oh, wow. during my baptism. The lead pastor who had opened the church posted a picture of me on his Instagram and I was tagged and I got so nervous because I said, Oh, all of the women in my church group are going to find my Instagram. And you see on my Instagram, I talk a lot about spirituality. I talk a lot about Reiki. I talk a lot about the Holy Spirit. So I got nervous. I thought, oh no, what did I just open up? What just happened? But the responses have been so beautiful, so supportive. All the women have really helped me. And I have a mentor too in the Christ group. And I talked to her about this conversation. I was like, I don't give any of my glory to myself. I don't give it to anyone else. Yeah. I honor those who have brought the Reiki, who created the manuals. I honor them, but I do remind myself that it's the Holy Spirit. It is God channeling and working through the healing. And again, glory to God, glory to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the mentor did remind me, she's like, well, it does sound like God is putting you in this realm of spirituality in these mm -hmm. healing modalities with these healers. And you're bringing God into that moment. And I really am. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you follow me and you see like a lot of my work stems from sacred texts. It does stem from the light that you find within Christianity. And of course there is good and there's bad in every situation. And I'm not saying humans perfect, but what I do believe is the sacred text of the Bible of Christianity, it really helps bring light into people's worlds who have been exposed to most darkness most mm -hmm. of their lives. Yeah, it's really refreshing to hear that you're integrating both of those, right? You're changing the narrative that people have when it comes to Christianity and these type of practices. So for people that aren't familiar with Reiki, can you explain a little bit as to what it is? Yeah, so Ray is spiritual consciousness and Ki is life force energy. So we bring spiritual consciousness into the life force, which is our physical self. So the whoever is doing the Reiki is channeling Holy Fire, Holy Fire energy, Holy Spirit. They're channeling higher ascended master and connecting to their spiritual consciousness. And then that energy is going to help alleviate or release any illness or any negative energy inside of the body. And that is really just through your own palms and being able to feel the energy flowing through you. So it takes devotion to the practice. Of course, like anything, if you want to get better at it, it takes practice doing it, but it also, which is my favorite part, it really gets the mind and the emotion out of the situation and allows your spirit to do the guiding. 